Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to talk about Azure AI service and we are going to create index from storage and we are also going to create a skill set so that we can see how the skill set works. In previous demo, we have created index from Azure SQL and Cosmos DB and that is a kind of structured data or semi-structured data, right? Now we are going to create the index from blob where we are going to upload some of the images, some of the PDF file, some of the notepad file which is unstructured data and we will create that. Apart from, we will see how we can enable the OCR service, how we can extract people name or organization name or location name if that contains in that document, right? Or we are going to create tags also from that images during this process. Just a quick recap of this playlist. We have seen how to set up AI search and how we can import data from SQL, how we can transfer data from Cosmos DB, also, we have seen how to integrate AI language service so that we can translate one language to another during that process. We have also seen that how we can deploy a demo web application and use that. Apart from also, we have seen that how to customize and boost our AI search result. So let's go into Azure portal quickly. So right now we are into Azure portal and till now we are using this AI search service, which is named as a software search demo. And we have created multiple indexes on that one in previous demos. So now we are going to see that in the same resource group, let's see if we have any blob or not, right? So we do not have any blob. So I will create a blob and we will upload some of the file quickly. We do not need GRS. I will go for this LRS. Let me click create. And till the time it is creating, let me go and see that this is the search data which we are going to leverage. And if we see some of the clip for Scott Woodry, there are some PPTs around that uh, which has some search related uh, thing. So that PPT is there. And apart from that, we have this Spanish PDF, which we are going to upload. And some more PNG and other things are there, which we can see that. And one more PDF from Microsoft. So that is the sample data. And some of the text file is also there, which is Satya demos later. So that is there. And all the document file, if you can see that document file is also there. So we are going to upload this uh, sample data into blob and then we can set up our index from that. So right now our resource has been created. Let's go to resource. And now we can go and upload that. Right now we do not have any container. So let's create a data container. And let's upload these files. And I have downloaded this sample from GitHub, uh, sample provided by Microsoft itself. So this is public document and public sample files. All the blob has been uploaded. We can go to a storage browser and we can go to container, data container, and we can see all the blobs are here. Now let's go to our search service. Now we are into search service and we have multiple options here to create index. Right now I'm going to use the import data. And in the import data, we do not have existing data source for that storage. So I'm going to create a new. And I'm going to put a name over there. And data to extract, we have multiple options. I am going to keep that content in metadata. So I wanted to extract that all the content from that images or PPT document or PDF. And 
also some metadata about file name and other things what is the size and other things parsing mode will be default because there are text json and other things but we have multiple and multiple type of files over there so i am going to keep default and let me select an existing connection so i will go ahead and select our search demo which is data right container and for the production or um, code ready we should always go for system managed identity or user assigned if that is not possible but uh, and but for this demo we are using connection string for just for demo purpose so let's go ahead and now in the next screen we are going to add the cognitive skills so right now it is sampling data so that detect schema so it now detected some basic schema over there and the very first thing we have to see that uh, we have to attach an AI services. So right now free is by default selection we have done. If you do not have any, you can use the free or you can use the paid version also. But I'm going to free so that you can do the similar demo at your end. Next section, we are going to see that I am going to enable OCR check mark. So if there is any OCR related content, yet it is going to find and it is trying to bring that field into merge content. And if you see the detected schema, we have content and there are some metadata, which is like a storage name, path, extension, content type, and other things are there, which is metadata detected by Azure AI search itself. Right. And then I'm going to say now let's add text cognitive skills, which is extract people name from that data, which is going to come from that files and other things, extract organization name, extract location name. So these three I'm going to select as a sample for uh, text cognitive skills. For image one, I'm going to select that, hey, from image you get the tags, from caption you can also get the captions and other things. So that we can do. We can also, if we are dealing with PIA and other things, you can do this one or translate text. We have seen that how to bring AI services and translate text and detect text based on in previous demo. So you can see if you wanted to see. And we can go for next section where we can customize our target index. So right now, if we see uh, the default is coming and we can customize based on our need, maybe select uh, people should, should be filterable, location should be filterable. So I can mark that filterable and searchable based on also let's mark that facetable. Depending upon our need, uh, we can customize this uh, index and uh, we can customize also which uh, engine it is being used based on language or other things so right now language is mostly english so i'm going to keep the standard one let's go to indexer where we can customize our index how much it is going to run daily hourly custom right now we are going to run only one so i'm going to submit this so now it is going to run it will take some time to run and figure it out all the details populate so right now it's submitted and we have asking that to monitor that indexer once indexer is also successful it is going to take some time and it is going to come in index so let's see and refresh that so right now it is in progress it says success here but in the index, let's see that how much time it is going to take right now. So right now, blob index count is zero. So now we can see that document count is 14. Now we have not enabled vector index right now. In next demo, we are going to see how to enable the vector index and also semantic search. And this is the total storage size. Let's go and see uh, by querying something that how it looks like. So let me copy that what I wanted to search it because it is Microsoft related demo. So now we can see that uh, from this document, it went into the document, it figured out all the contents, whatever contents was there, right? And it came from all the people name. It detected all the people name in document and we can see that document path, storage path and other things we can see. Uh, which path and also it organization it find all the organization from that documents location it try to find right it detected all the locations so we can see that and all the details it has it has merged content also so we can see that this is coming from microsoft move from this one so some documents is there which is that right <laughs> We can also and try to see view in JSON view if we see that one. We can limit also based on which field we wanted to see, right? So we can see that this field. 
So we can limit that if you wanted to select only content and people and count should be true. So we can limit that that value itself. So we can see count is only one based on this need. And if I remove that, let me run. So now count it to uh, two is come two records is coming from that document. If we go and search, see this one, there is document, but it does not have major document. It is coming on the so null value. We have to optimize that search index also for using main main content because in this content we, we do not have any people or any other things. So let's remove this one and try to find with Microsoft only. So if you see content for Microsoft is coming, this content pay and uh, because content has Microsoft Cognitive Services and other things this is coming and it is taking till count right now. This is also Microsoft related things. And we can see that, let's try to find some different thing, right? So like gender. So we can see only one record is coming with the search score. So we've seen that, how this search looks like. Let me type about Guthrie. Uh, and let's see why I wanted to see that, that we seen the te about text search, right? So we have this uh, Guthrie image. So let's see that how what this this is figured it out with this image, right? So I just wanted to see with Guthri on that one. So this seems that this is coming from different ones. Uh, let's see some other record. And this does not have image tag and captions. So and this seems that this is coming from that result. So we can see that image. Uh, tags and image captions, a man indoor and a Scott Guthrie wearing glasses, right? It is able to detect that one. So that's great, right? It is able to detect from text also. It is able to detect from doc, PPT, PDF and also images. So this is how easily we can enable any skills, which is AI skills, how we can customize, enrich your search for better result response or addition of any field depending upon your need and this is what i wanted to cover in this video in next video we are going to see how we can enable that semantic search right now we are doing all keyword searching and other things so we can enable the semantic search um, and how to enable the vector profiles and use the Azure search as a vector database uh, you have heard a lot of things about that vector database nowadays with uh, advancement in AI such as open AI and how to do embedding and other things. So keep following this tutorial and playlist and provide your comment like if you want, uh, if you like this video, please do share with your friends so that it can get more view and other things. I hope you will like this video.